Good day everybody, in this video I'm going to explain how to estimate the depth at which uh, problems like rock burst or spalling can happen in the tunnels and um, uh, these problems only happen in rocks which is of uh, high strength and high quality and at very uh, deep depths. So this is something that you can see here. When the tunnel is uh, excavated, you will see there was a spalling here on the side or rock bursting of rocks just uh, fallen in a, um, a brittle failure. So uh, let's look at this example that we have here. So let's say that uh, we're going to consider a tunnel in the hard granite and the strength of this rock is very high. You will see it's about 100 MPa. So remember that these problems can only happen in very high uh, strength rock. Uh, we also have density 2.2, sorry, 2.9 grams per cubic centimeters. And the problem is what will be the depth, right? So if here we have uh, um, surface, so we're going to have a tunnel somewhere here. We want to find out this depth, right? So how a deep uh, at what depth say is going to happen if in this rock uh, granite. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we look at this uh, empirical correlation that is shown here. So I took it from uh, this work. You can look it up uh, by yourself. Uh, this is really good work uh, by Hook and uh, Marinus. So you see in this case um, it's an uh, empirical correlation uh, between the strength of rock, you have here strength of rock, and here you will say uh, the stress at which uh, they will be cracking in rocks. Basically, um, that will show you the stress at which uh, rock burst and spalling uh, may happen in the tunnels. And uh, this is the formula. These are the numbers uh, from different case studies. And um, this is just a kind of um, um, formula that will give you some idea about this uh, stress. Okay, so let's look at our example and we're going to use the formula. So I'm going to write that stress at which there will be initiation of uh, a rock burst uh, is equal uh, negative 2.7, then plus uh, 0.42 and times uh, uh, the unconfined compressive strength of rock in this case is 100 so this is the value I took from here 100 and that will give us uh, 39.3 MPa so we know that uh, when the stress acting at uh, this value will be about 39.3 so in this case there will be this problem happening right so, and then uh, let's uh, estimate the stress. Um, so principal stress uh, sigma one, and we say that, so at what uh, it should be equal to uh, this stress to initiate uh, cracking. And then we already know that it's a unit weight times uh, H. So let's make it H. And um, because we need to find H, I'm going to rewrite this formula as H equal to uh, stress, uh, that one for uh, cracking of the rock and unit weight, right? So what I can write down here, 39.3, we already found it, it's MPA, and we're going to divide it by here we have unit weight. Uh, you may remember that unit weight is uh, uh, the gravitational acceleration times uh, um, density. So, and because here we, we're going to have this in kilonewtons, I'm going to write here 2.9 times 9.81. So this will be in kilonewtons. So we need to change this uh, MPA to uh, KPA. So I'm going to write times 10 in the power of 3 and this will be KPA. So then our answer will be in meters, 1.38 times 10 in the power of 3 meters. And that will give us the answer of about 1380 meters. So that will be the answer here. 
So at this depth, 1,380 meters, uh, in this uh, tunnel, uh, there can be expected problems like rock burst and spalling. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye.